or in our work, one of, one, of, one of our biggest challenges in our work is really trying to demystify some terrible misconceptions out there. Uh, every year without fail, you know, there will always be some major rape case. And of course, we are not wishing for it for 2009. In fact, we hope that by starting early, by educating people, and by bringing the message about the issue of rape, that there will not be these kind of tragedies. But without fail, whenever there is a, a rape issue, without fail, there will always be these misconceptions. And Women's Aid Organization, as you know, have been doing this work for almost 26 years. And every year, I feel as if I'm like a broken record talking about that rape is an issue of power. It's about a man choosing to use rape as a form of violence. It has nothing to do with the victim, meaning that it doesn't matter what the victim wears, where the victim goes, because almost 75% of rapes are, you know, occur with uh, are perpetrated by the people whom we know. We know who these perpetrators are. So it's very important for us to, to make sure that we do not have this blame game, you know, that we constantly keep blaming, oh, it must be because she went out at late, it must be because she's wearing a miniskirt, it's because her uniform is transparent and so on. So, like I said, I feel as if we're like a broken down record. Every year we keep saying the same things. So it was very, very um, uh, refreshing for us when ARC Worldwide approached WAO with an idea. And I'm going to get ARC Worldwide to talk about why they came up with this idea in the first place. But just to give you a little bit of a background, ARC Worldwide is an ad agency, as you know. Uh, was that the correct way of saying ad agency, right? And they have been working with WAO for, oh, I don't know. Seven Almost eight years, almost eight years. They've been working with us for a long time uh, on various you know, ad uh, posters, campaigns and so on. So they are like our in-house ad agency and you know, the, best, the good news about all of this is that we don't pay them a single cent. Okay? When we need them, when we need help, when we need to put a website up, when we need to have uh, you know, a, a special design, a, a poster or whatever, we call them up and say, you know, and we behave as if we are, we are paying clients and say, we need it now, we need it tomorrow. And they've been very good, the people have been very good about working with us and we are really our partners, you know, ARC Worldwide and, and WAO are partners in combating violence against women. So before you actually see the posters, I'd like to actually invite both Teresa and Kenning to tell us why they came out with this campaign in the first place. And obviously they approached WAO and we brainstormed and we came up with this idea. Why the specific images? I'm talking about uh, the Malaysian uh, school uniform being too revealing. I think that particular issue causes a bit of a, um, you know, a commotion in, in the public. And um, based on that, and uh, we came up with, with, with this idea, you know, uh, in a way that to to hope to convey to people that at the end of the day, the, uh, the rape victim is not to be blamed. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the school uniform, so um, therefore shouldn't should uh, the rape victim shouldn't be a quick blame on what uh, has happened. Because as you know, when we receive magazines, there's constantly this censorship, right? You know, uh, about like it's like censoring the body. This part of the body is something that you cannot deal with. That color you censor, you color you sort of blacken off, and you just block us off. Then, then men will not be excited, or men will not go wild because they've seen something and it's uncontrollable. What we're trying to educate the public, we're trying to educate people and especially, you know, parliamentarians and political <coughs> leaders who speak up on this issue, that no matter what you do with a woman, you can dress her up, you can cover her, you can censor her parts of her body, you can hide her away. No matter what you do, rape is going to occur, rape is going to be perpetrated if you do not address that the responsibility, and it's in the press statement too, the responsibility lies squarely with the men that men need to change their behavior, men need to change their attitudes about women, and that really, uh, as I've often said, uh, that we, we keep saying that if women were to somehow <coughs> dress properly and, 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 and just become almost invisible, then therefore men will therefore behave. Now it implies then that men really do not have any kind of will, that they are animals, 
that they lose control just by looking at, you know, a school uniform. And it really is an insult to men too, because it implies that men do not have any kind of control. And I think this is a real insult to the many men who I know, who we all know, do exercise control. So rape, sexual harassment, domestic violence, all these forms of, of violence is not, doesn't occur because someone loses his, his, his mind. It occurs because you want to control the woman, you want to use violence as a form of control. So when this idea came out that we need to use the school uniform images, it was quite controversial. If you remember when women's aid organizations and with many other organizations talked about how it is really fallacious, almost silly to think that somehow the school uniform was so provocative, was so indecent that it brought about, uh, you know, that it actually provoked sexual harassment and rape. Um, I think WAO was slammed in the, in, in the internet. There were many people who felt that we didn't know what we were talking about. Uh, and that, that we were being very unfair. That, but we know because we have been around for 26 years, we've been working on the issue of violence against women, we know that all kinds of women get raped, tall, short, fat, thin, clothes, not clothes, sudo, not sudo, miniskirt, not miniskirt. The only common factor is the fact that they are women. And the other common factor is, sad to say, perpetrated and committed by men. And another sad factor is that almost 75% are people whom we know, people whom we know. We also notice in the statistics, you will notice a lot of younger women are getting raped. Now, um, this is, can also be a situation of date rapes. We, we, we go with people whom we trust and that rape turns out to be, you know, the date turns out to be something horrific as a rape. We find that quite a number of women have called us on our telephone counseling. We, we get telephone counseling calls and they tell us about I don't know what happened, I went out with this person, I'm not clear and I don't remember but I know I, I get up in the morning and I, but I know my body has been violated and it had to do with obviously date rape drugs which are easily available and when you, uh, and when you put in the drug into your drink you are quite compliant and you also have memory loss. So what we hope to do is that the, with the posters uh, and with the postcards, we are hoping to um, get, provoke people into entering the website which is available at www.wao.org.my slash censored. Now, we are aiming to get a lot of young people, whether they are boys or girls and even parents, to go into the website and learn more about rape. There are myths and facts, statistics, information about drug rapes, what to do, you know, for instance, we advise women to say, look, you know, if you go out with in a group, don't leave a drink alone unattended, unless, you know, if you do not know that person very well, do not leave it unattended. Uh, you know, small hints like that. Um, but of course, we know that to prevent rape, at the end of the day, no matter what a woman does, uh, what a young girl can do, at the end of the day, it large squarely on the men. The men have to change their attitude and they have to behave better and be able to look at women as equals and not as sex objects. Okay, so let us just show you the, um, the posters. Now, MPH stores has kindly consented, agreed to put these posters up in their stores and they've also kindly uh, agreed to help distribute the postcards to their customers.